In this task, we're going to start the map design process in Inkscape by importing all the resources we're going to need to complete the map. You will complete the map design in the next lab. So first, open Inkscape 0.48, then click File, Document Properties, and click the Page tab. The final map design is set for a 15 inch wide by 10 inch tall piece of paper. We're going to set the page dimensions in this dialog, and we're going to set the following options. So for units, we're going to choose inches. For the width, we're going to choose 15.0, and for the height, we're going to use 10.0. And then lastly, we're going to uncheck Show Border Shadow. Close the Document Properties dialog. The page size is now set. Now click the View Layers button. And there's my Layers button. And so now I have my Layers panel up. And I'm going to rename Layer 1 to Base Map. I'm going to import the Syria base map PDF that was exported in task 3 by do, clicking File, Import, going to my lab directory, and choosing Syria base map and then clicking Open. In the PDF import settings, I'm going to accept all defaults and click OK. And here in just a moment, we'll see that our map is now placed on the page. And so I'm going to now click the uh, open up the align and distribute panel. There we go. And I'm going to align the base map to the right and bottom of the page. So with page selected for relative, I'm going to choose right and bottom. So with the base map in place, I'm going to lock the base map layer by clicking the lock button here. Um, and this is going to prevent me from accidentally selecting or moving the base map in the future. So now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to name this one Proportional Symbols. I'm going to add it above the current layer and make sure it's at the top here. And I'm going to import the Serie of Proportional Symbols.pdf into that layer. So I'm going to click the Import button, Serie of Proportional Symbols. I'm going to accept the defaults for the import, and it's going to now show up on my map. And just like the base map, I'm going to line this one uh, to the bottom and right of the page by bringing back up my Align and Distribute panel, choosing Page, and saying to the right and to the bottom. And since the page settings are the same in our Print Composer, note that it lines up with our base map exactly. So now we're going to create a, another layer after we lock our proportional symbols. And we're going to name this one bar graph. I'm going to add that above the current. And in that layer, I'm going to import the bar graph inside of the photos and graph folder. And it's going to be the bar graph.jpg. And when I open it, I want to make sure I choose the embed option for the image. I'm going to click OK. And now the graph imports to a larger size than what we want, so we're going to scale it down to 145 millimeters by 90 millimeters as we plan in task one. Um, and so in the tools control bar, so this is below the menu bar, so this is what we're talking about right here, uh, I'm going to set the width and height value. So first I'm going to lock the aspect ratio uh, so that as I change one, it will change the other. And I'm going to set the width to 145 and press enter on my keyboard. You can see that the height, um, more or less goes to 90, but it's too small, so I need to make sure that I choose millimeters and then set 145. So you can see now I'm in millimeters instead of pixels. And lastly, I'm going to align to the left and bottom of the page. So again, bringing back up my align and distribute panel relative to the page, I'm going to align it to the bottom and to the left. And then finally, I'm going to la uh, gr uh, lock the graph layer. Now I'm going to create a brand new layer, and I'm going to call it Pictures. I'm going to add it to the top, and I'm going to import Picture1.jpg in the Photos and Graph folder, embedding it again, and I'm going to also import Photo2.jpg, embedding it once again, and then lastly I'm going to import the UNHCR logo embedding it. I'm going to place that roughly here. So for each picture uh, I want to set the uh, 
the height to 45 millimeters with proportional scaling and engage. So I have proportional scaling locked. I'm going to set the height to 45 millimeters. I'm going to do that for the other picture as well. There we go. Now they're both the same height. And for the UNHCR logo, I'm going to set it to 30 millimeters high and press enter. There we go. And I'm going to move that to the top uh, left hand corner of the page, leaving a little bit of breathing room. And for the pictures, I'm roughly going to put them where I want them, say right about here. I'm then going to lock my pictures layer. And so now all the graphic assets have been added to the map. And so in the next lab, you're going to complete the map design.